Thanks for devoting with us as we continue to learn about giving thanks. All of us have memories of Thanksgiving. For me, it may be the extended family gathering and sharing stories that have become so memorable. Or maybe it's my grandfather teasing me about not liking stuffing and always saying that meant more for him. That certainly changed as I got older. Or maybe it was gathering around the table and sharing a prayer together uh, and, and even being asked to give that prayer. You may want to pause the video and reflect on your own memories or share them with someone near you. There are many Bible verses that we remember about Thanksgiving, and among them are Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The initial part of that passage makes sense, that we ought not be anxious and worried, but if we are, we should pray. And the last part of that passage makes sense, that God will give us this extraordinary peace. It's not dependent on the things that make us anxious or worried, but it is dependent on God working through those things to do something great for us. But the middle part of that passage tends to be overlooked. The words, with thanksgiving. Present your request with thanksgiving and the peace of God. Last week, we devoted from the Psalms, and we learned that thanksgiving often serves as a witness. It works to magnify God, to highlight for others the ways that God has been at work in our lives. In these verses from Philippians, we learn that thanksgiving serves as a reminder. Praying with thanksgiving forces us to recall other moments in which we may have been anxious or worried and that God has seen us through. Maybe it was a struggle that your son or daughter was having at a particular time in school, or perhaps it was a decision that you and your spouse needed to make and you weren't sure the direction that God had planned. When we pray with thanksgiving, we recall the details and the ways that God has worked in our lives. And there is something about influencing our thoughts. Many people would assert that thoughts aren't something that we can control. They just happen to us. You know, you remember some things and you don't remember others. Or there are all kinds of thoughts that run through your head during the day and there's nothing much that you can do about it. But the verses that follow the two we read teach something different. They're in verse 8. Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. The teaching is that by the power of God, we are able to be more intentional about our thoughts, to focus on things that are honorable and meaningful, ah, tremendous things, even the things that God does to answer our prayers and work in our lives. And again, it says, the God of peace will be with you. That's really the teaching about thanksgiving. Uh, that we would remember those things, think about those things, pray about those things. And the Bible says they will work to guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. That thanksgiving will even serve to protect us from anxiety and worry. They will remind us of the God who sent his son for us, uh, who would hang on a cross for us, who is able to do anything because he rose from the dead for us. Uh, that is a great teaching about Thanksgiving and definitely worth remembering. We encourage you to worship with us every week at 8.30 and 10 o'clock. Uh, our 8.30 service is outdoors. Our 10 o'clock service is even live streamed. Uh, and we'd love to have you be a part of it.
have a great week, everyone.